The first person to watch Mars with a telescope was Galileo Galilei, and in the century after him, astronomers discovered its polar ice caps. In the 19th and 20th centuries, researchers believed they saw a network of long, straight canals on Mars, although later these often proved to be mistaken interpretations of dark regions they saw. The atmosphere, mostly made up of carbon dioxide on Mars, is so thin that water cannot exist in liquid form. It can exist only as water vapor or ice. Liquid water is considered for many scientists to be the holy grail of Mars. A workshop group of scientists have found that a NASA-led man of mission to Mars could be possible by the 2030s. But NASA isn't the only one with Martian astronaut hopefuls. Mars One Colony Project is looking to send private citizens on a one-way trip to the Red Planet. Surprisingly, over 100,000 people have applied for this program already. Mars was formed as small objects in the solar system began to clump together. For over 100,000 years, Mars grew as the force of gravity pulled in more objects. The heat caused by the impact of these objects eventually created the different layers of the planet. Gases, which were released as the planet cooled, helped to create the atmosphere. The inner part of Mars was very hot, and that caused volcanoes to develop and erupt. When the planet finally cooled, the atmosphere became thinner. The high failure rate of missions launched from Earth attempting to explore Mars is informally called the Mars Curse. The phrase, Great Galactic Ghoul, referring to a fictitious space monster that subsists on a diet of Mars probes, was coined in 1997 by Donald Neff and is sometimes facetiously used to explain the reoccurring difficulties. Mars has an enormous canyon named Mariner Valley, which is 2,500 miles long and 4 miles deep. As long as the continental United States, this gigantic canyon was likely formed by the tectonic cracking of Mars crust, and is the longest known crevice in the solar system. <laughs> 